going to be part two of the basic scaffold tower but in a bit more detail than what i did last time um if you're liking it follow if you haven't watched the first one go back and watch that first because you'll understand what's going on and if you haven't yet follow the page and subscribe to the channel and hit like on the video if you're enjoying it right so this is what we got in last time with our basic square um we got it all squared up everything good i've changed the legs out for some longer ones so we can get the handrail and stuff on the top so next thing we've got to do is get our handrails in tubes in here on swivels so we can lay our boards over the top right we better get some stuff out and we'll have a look Next thing you need is a staff. We've got to measure from the bottom double on this side by there. And we'll go a metre and then two metres for our two metre lift. Then what you want to do, put your staff on the bottom, put it up against there, mark off where those marks are, like that. And this is called staffing out. For anyone who doesn't know, then you take it over to your next leg, use the same mark you just marked on the stick, like that. Same on this one. Where's that mark? That, like that. And the same on the last. Now you should have all your marks on your legs. That's for your lift ram rail. So all you do now is go and get all your dabbles on them legs. Right, they are. So we've got our mark under there. We've gone to the mark with the double on the same as the ledger. So it follows the ledger, that one. And same with that one on the mark. And then the doubles on top, one's for your Amrail. And then this will end up being your Aberdeen that goes underneath. Once you've got all this in, all you want to do then is get all your eights all round in all of them. And then you're moving on to the bracing. They are, you got all your handrails round, all your ledgers round and Aberdeens. Next thing you want to do is you've got to brace from the bottom of here up to there to do that double off and then you can level over to over here. I'll run you through how you do that. Right, so what I'm going to do, put my double round like that, nip him up. So we go underneath like that, lift this up in there. Look that side up. Right, so what you want to do now, you've got that brace running up, the bottom's loose, stick your level on here. So we want to come this way. So pull it back. Oh, that's not done up. Now it wants to go that way a bit. So there, we'll bang on. Do him up like that. Right, so what you've got from the bottom there to there is your brace and that brace is done up so that's holding your level. So what you want to do now is do up your ledger and your handrail. Well that'll be your Aberdeen. So now you've got them done up so the brace brings it up. We've done it off there. Now we've done it off here so this tube is now tight so we can come over off that double and level this leg. So we've gone up Done that up, now we're bringing it over to here. We can level this, like that. And you can do that up, nice and level. Like that. So you go around now, do that on every corner. There we are, we went from the bottom down there, up to the top there with our brace. 
we've done the back up when it was level on the brace. Then we come round to the front of our double, we've done that up, and the front of our double on our handrail, and then we leveled over off that tube across to our other leg, and we got all that done. So then we've done that. So all I've gone and done is chuck the other three in on the legs. So yeah, that's the next part of it. So now we've done all the bracing and all the handrails and ledgers, and we've learned how to base out the bottom. So the next thing we're gonna do is get all the trannies on, which will go that way. So it'd be four trannies across the top. And then all you gotta do then is plan braces through it, and ham rails up on the top. So we'll get some trannies on. So now we're gonna whack our trannies in. They'll go there. I always just do it so I can get my drill on. Obviously you'll use a spanner. That one will go there. This one will go here. And we've got this one. Put it in the middle. Doing that. Do them up. Then you do him. Put that one in. Do them up. Two more here. Put that on. So right, we've got all our base in, then we put our trannies on, ham rails and ledgers, and now we've just put our trannies up on the top there. So all that would be left to do now would be get your scaf, scaf steps out and put your ham rail on up there so as you can get up and finish off with the toe boards and bits like that. So once you've got your ham rail on then you throw all your boards on and that would be it finished. If you wanna see me do all the ham rail and everything at the end, like the video and share it and I'll do the finished piece. But that's the basics of it. So if you wanna see more of this sort of basic stuff, uh, put in the comments what you wanna see. So whether it's splays, um, the part two tower in more detail, we might do some dropper things or something off the roof. Uh, we could do a truss out. Yeah, so just comment what you want to see and I'll try and do it.